Hello and welcome to the first video of 2023 and Happy New Year! So, I've got this feeling that this is going to be the year that everything is going to break. I don't know, but so far there's been a couple of things that let me down and um, this one's probably the first one that I'm going to post and then we've got a few more that are bigger jobs that I need to finish off before I can edit them and post them. So, what's gone wrong? So the other day I came into the fish, fish house basement, like I always do, and uh, I purged the bottom drain valve. So on the, my bottom drains, there's two bottom drains, one, two, and they come to these valves that are the absolute lowest point of the system. And uh, yeah, so that, that one and that one, and that, I just, they've always been a bit tight, so I've always used like a, spanner or something to actually open and that goes on then you just crank them open anyway that one the other day gave in so it, uh, usually that pipe there goes on to the end of there and uh, I opened it and it didn't want to close and it just kept filling up and filling up to the point where the water in the basement was knee deep before I managed to get that valve on down there um, and seal the leak so, today's job is to actually replace this ball valve. And there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to do it the most difficult way. Um, because I don't think I'll lose enough. Yeah, God, you know. I already feel a bit, you know. It's one of the things, you shouldn't say it. I think it'll go alright, but we'll see. Um, one of these, obviously there's no valve on it, so I can't stop the water. The easiest way to do it is to get like a big rubber car mat and put it over the top of the drain in the pond and it will actually stop about 90% of the water flow and I've done that a few times uh, on other ponds I can't really be bothered to do it on my pond because I don't mind dropping the water a bit it gives the fish a good water change and hopefully I can change it fast enough to not drain the pond too much and get a new valve on <laughs> oh god <laughs> I'm hearing my sensei. You know when you're hearing your sensei of these things? Oh, this is going to be a fun video. But there we go. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the valve off up there so that it doesn't backflow. I'm going to probably turn a couple of pumps off so I can turn the uh, pumps off here so that we're not um, running water down because the drum filter won't like it when the water level in the pond drops. Um, in fact, that's the point where I'm here. Look at that. 20.9 degrees 20.9 degrees on the main pond um, last summer really warmed this pond up to the hottest it's ever been and it just has not cooled down this winter uh, it's got no heating on it or anything obviously the building's heated but yeah it's not cooled down it's been great uh, it's not 20.9 no, that's a little bit optimistic it's about 19 degrees really so yeah let's get on with changing that right then we're all ready i've got my replacement valve i've got my big grips and uh, probably need to take the rubber joint off i haven't done that yet might as well get it out of the road and then i've turned the pumps off and i've drained the well so all the water's going to be running sort of around here across the floor and then down into the hole where there's a pump to pump it away and I've drained it a bit, it's usually about half full, so yeah, it should, and hopefully there's nothing on the floor that should be damaged by water. So yeah, I think we're ready to get started, we've just got to be brave enough to do it. Right, let's see how this goes, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought I'll remove this valve here, that, I'll remove the rubber joint, but then I remembered that that's what's holding the pressure back, so never mind. Now let's just see what happens. This could be interesting. Mm. Right. That's open, that's ready to go on, closed. Put that there.
don't know if it knocked my rubber out, my rubber gasket out. I don't think it did actually. Picked a leaky ball valve. And then, let's see how full we are. I didn't let out much water. Not as much as I thought. I think what might have happened is that the water pressure knocked the rubber o ring off and it's gone into the uh, insert a little bit, so I'm just take it off, put reseat the o-ring and put it back on again. I've also got the o-ring off the other valves if necessary. I think that might be why that's leaking and why that is as well. I really thought this would look it better than it does. I'm sure it did. So I just found another o-ring, um, yeah, okay. it would be leaking worse than that though if it didn't have its o-ring on, so I'm optimistic. I think I saw that the o-ring stayed on when I put it on because I, I were holding the o-ring in place. <coughs> there we go, that's where I want it. It doesn't leak, so if it doesn't have an o-ring on, yeah. It must have the o-ring on, they do leak like crazy if you don't put the o-ring on, so... Oh, thank God that's over with. I probably should have put the... So like I said, if you get a big rubber mat, you can just put it on the bottom drain, and it, it doesn't entirely stop the water flow, but it stops a lot more than you'd think. Because uh, obviously when flo water flows like that, it just sucks down to it and then you only end up with a small flow um, whereas obviously doing it without that you get full pressure and uh, it's probably drained the pond a little bit so that's that done, I'll probably 
just leave it a little bit and nip it up in a bit and maybe you know dry off and get a shower and such so let's go and have a look at the fish so there we go it's not actually dropped that much water out of the pond obviously it's a 9,000 gallon pond so it does hold a lot of water but yeah it probably dropped about four inch uh, so yeah but gives the fishes a good water change that's the uh, mains water flowing in I think I'll get the pumps and that back on now so there we go it's all back together and it doesn't appear to be leaking I've no idea what that um, gasket came from but chances are it probably would ran there somewhere and floated around and just confused me because I do drop stuff like that all the time um, but I think if it well I'm pretty sure if it, that gasket had found its way out it'd be leaking like crazy because I have done it before where I've not put the gasket on uh, and they just leak um, no matter how much you tighten them it literally just flies out like around here um, so I'm pretty confident that it's fine it's not leaking anyway so as long as it don't leak it don't matter um, I've actually left the little valve on that I put on so I've left that on so if it does ever break or the other one breaks I just close that and then I'm not uh, risking filling the basement up with the water, at least I've got a backup. So let's give it a try. Open her up. There we go. And it works as intended. That's good. Yeah, and I'm and I can use the blue valve on this one as well because the other one was a bit too tight to use the blue valve it kept cracking them that's why I used the spanner instead uh, which is probably why it's broke as well I haven't actually there's nothing really to look at on it but it's broke in that position that just turns and the, the valve doesn't turn so obviously the plastic joint in there is broke somewhere so there we go So there we go, if you like this video then please like it, if you want to see more videos like this and fishy related videos then please feel free to subscribe, any questions or comments then please put them down below and I shall see you in the next video, thank you for watching.